Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. This is Charmaine Vega, also known as Mama Vega. And today what I'm gonna to talk to you about is making stuffed zucchini. That's what this is. So I have a stuffed zucchini here. I have a bell pepper. I also have some onions. This is about one onion. I have some cumin. I also have a little bit of Celtic sea salt. I have Italian seasoning. And then I also have a little bit of fennel. And then I have some coriander. And I have a sampling here of what's already been prepared. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to look at the um, zucchini that's here. And I'm gonna show you how I prepare that. One of the things I do with the zucchini is I cut the end off here and then I cut the other end off over here and then we'll end up tossing that and then I'm going to cut it down the middle and I usually try to start with the smaller end and go to the larger end because it's just easier to hold so I'm going to cut that going straight down the middle here so we have two halves. So now we have two halves there. And I'll take this spoon over here because I don't know what I did with the other one. And I start at the fatter end because it's easier. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it about that far from the edge and I'm going to scoop out the inside. But what I do is if you see what I'm doing here, I'm rocking it so that I'm going down and I'm rocking it at the same time that I'm going down. And then I'm going to set that aside. So that's how I'm scooping it out. I'm scooping it out by rocking it. There may be an easier way of doing it, I don't know, but this is the way I do it. And it prevents it from going all the way down and cutting through the bottom. So now I have that. That's now my boat, that's one of my boats, and I'll set it aside over here. And then now I do the same thing to the other one. And I'm going to rock that out as well. And now we have that over here. So now that's the second boat. And then what I do is I take these pieces, and I'm gonna take those and I'm going to Cut them into little squares. This one, just so we have pieces here, so that we have a few squares here. And then we have these, and then I have all the squares. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to put these in the bowl over here. And then I'm going to take the Italian seasoning and I'm going to sprinkle that on there and then I'll take my spoon we're going to mix that up really good so it will do so that's going to be able to absorb and because uh, the zucchini is very porous and it's got water so when you add any seasonings to it it's going to help it to absorb in there so I'm going to set that there for a quick hot minute now I'm going to take my bell pepper and what I like to do is just look at the bumps that it has on it. And I can't remember which one is with, but you have some that have four and it's either three or five, but the other ones, so some are male and some are female. And I don't remember which one it is. I have to look it up in order to remember to be able to tell you. But in any case, I'm gonna cut that open. And then I'll take this other little knife here These knives are sharp, so I try not to go all the way through. And then I'm gonna take that out. And if you want to, you can save all these little seeds and you can plant them and now you get more bell peppers because this was um, organic, so the seeds will grow from these. These will grow. If you get it sometimes with the ones that are non-organic, those are what you call terminator seeds, you won't necessarily get anything from those. So I have this, I've already rinsed out and washed the outside. If you want to, you can do the same thing with the inside if you want to, but you don't have to. You can just leave it like that. So I'll take these now and I'll take these and I'll put these 
in my tray as well. So those are ready. I'll leave these right here in case I decide that's what I want to do with them. One of the things I want to tell you is all these little stickers that you find on your products, they do mean something. You know, they have a whole lot that they mean and sometimes people forget to figure out what do they mean. I also now, or to look them up to see what it means, and that's another story as far as all the different numbers and all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna talk in detail about that right now, but just know that all those little stickers have a meaning to them. Now I'm gonna take my spinach and I'm just gonna cut it a little bit. And I'm not gonna cook the spinach, but I am gonna add it to everything else that I'm doing because it will cook down when it bakes. The spinach has already been washed, so it's clean. So I have that taken care of already. Okay, so that's taken care of right there. And so now we're ready with the spinach. Since I've already cooked my meat, and I've already added the seasoning to my meat. This is not hot anymore, but you can see my meat is very, um, what do you call it? I'm gonna move this, I don't want it to fall. So I'll set that there. Um, so the meat, you can see it's not sticking together or anything. So what I will now do is I'm going to take the spinach and I'm gonna add it to the meat. You can see it's quite a bit of spinach here, but that's okay. So I'm gonna add all the spinach to the meat and then we can add that, mix that up. You can see how that's mixing up very nicely, right here. Okay, so I'll mix that. I don't need this cutting board anymore because I'm done with this. So I'll take this and set it over here as well, on the other counter. And then what I have over here is this is where I had some onion and garlic and then I had already cut up some of the other zucchinis that I have behind me, which would have been like this. And I took these and I added it to this, cooked it down just a little bit, but the juice that you see in here is juice from the salsa that I have. So I had some salsa, but I only used the juice to the salsa. And so what I'll do now is I will add all of this together. That's what I'm gonna do there. That's added. So we can mix all of that in. And then we will add some of the salsa to it. So now I have the salsa that I'm adding to this. Okay. So now we have the salsa that's added to this over here. like so. So you see how that looks. We have all of that added together. And now I'll take this and I'll put it back over here. And I'm going to put the lid on and we'll be able to cook that down. When we cook it down, this is the way it comes out. It's going to come out like this. Okay, so here we go right here. It comes out like that. And that's, and then we use that to actually stuff the shells. And I'll show you how I do that. And I had some that I was starting to stuff and then I took it out. But you take it and you put it in the shells like this. Just like this. Okay, and then you put it on the baking sheet. So you can put it on the baking sheet. I also have some Italian pasta sauce that I made. And here's one of the ones in the oven that was already finished. And to that one, I can just, after it's cooked, you can either do it before it's cooked or after. And then I can add a little bit of pasta sauce to it. And there you go. That's how it looks when it's all completed and done. And like they say, bon appetit. And it's very good. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Don't forget that um, I showed you the bell pepper and you'll be able to stuff the bell pepper if you'd like. You can add it to pasta, which is whatever you have that's left over. That is the stuffing that I use. You can add it to pasta, you can put it on top of rice, you can top a salad with it if you'd like. 
There's all number of things that you can do with it. Or you can just eat it by itself if that's what you want to do. Or you can just, since you have some more of this left over, you can take that and then you can add some more of this to it and make it where you have even more vegetables. But what I'd like you to know is, and, and remind you of, I should say, is how many additional vegetables I added to it. There was only approximately one pound of meat. Everything else that I added was all vegetables to it, and that's in order to help your body break down the meat because that takes the longest to digest. So that's why I added more meat, more, um, and not more meat, I'm sorry, more vegetables to the small amount of meat that I have and the seasonings that I used. I'll discuss that in another nutritional component as to why I specifically use those particular seasonings and the benefit that they have. And if there's anything that I missed, do let me know in the messages down below when you leave a comment or something, say, oh, how come you didn't explain this? And remind me, because when you're doing this and you're doing it off the cuff, there's no script that I have to this. So when I'm doing it, there could be something that I forgot. And if it was something that I forgot, do remind me, let me know that, oh, why didn't you put that in? Or you forgot to explain why you did something. And I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And do all, by all means, like it, share it, comment and give me some feedback so that I know how I'm doing and if there's something I want, you know you'd like for me to change if there's a particular video that you would like to see me do I'll be happy to do that for you so again thank you very much I hope you enjoyed it I hope you got some information out of this and bon appetit again I hope you enjoyed everything thank you so much